You've got an idea for an app, but here's the catch. You don't know how to code. Sounds like a dead end, right? Wrong. Steven, a regular guy with zero coding skills, built an app that's now raking in over $40,000 a month. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how he did it and how you can too. We're talking about Puff Count, a simple app that helps people quit vaping. Steven didn't need to code or years of experience. He just needed an idea that solved a real problem. Steven noticed more and more people were vaping, but there weren't many tools to help them quit. That's when he got the idea of building an app that helped people track their vaping habits and quit for good. This is where Puff Count started. I highly recommend to look for a problem that you can solve instead of just chasing trends. If you can help someone improve their life even in a small way, you've got the foundation of a great product. Steven knew that an idea is only valuable if people actually want it, so he didn't rely on luck when building his app. He did his research. To validate if the market was good, he checked out other apps that helped people quit vaping and used Google Trends to see if vaping was still popular, and then he scrolled through TikTok to see if there even was an audience on social media. And what he found was huge. TikTok was flooded with viral vape videos, getting millions of views every day, and his thinking was simple. If vaping content was blowing up, there had to be demand for an app that helps people quit. Now, if there's one thing you should take away from this short video, it's this. Don't build in the dark. And what I mean by that is you have to validate your app idea before you start building, or else you will just waste your time. If your app idea is in a niche with a lot of views, you're way more likely to get tons of downloads. I mean, that speaks for itself, right? Right now, I'm building an app just like the one in this video and documenting it in my free Discord community. You should definitely join it if you want to get started yourself. It's just the first link in the description. Now, over to the part that stops most people actually building the app. Steven didn't write a single line of code. He used no-code tools like Glide and Adelo, platforms that let you build apps by dragging and dropping. Keep it simple when starting out. You don't need to have all the features set up for your first version. What I love to do when building an app is to set up the only feature the app needs to function, and then I launch it on the App Store as soon as possible. This is what everyone does when starting to validate their idea. Think of this process as a way to avoid wasting time on something that might not work. And then comes the best part, pushing out actual updates to the app. You should have a few users that give you feedback on features in the app that they would like to be added. This will not only be good for you, but since they are actually using the app, they are able to join the building process of how the app should work. This literally makes the users you've been able to onboard stay since they have a direct connection with the app creator, which is you. Once your app is built, you'll realize that marketing is the most important part. It's 95% of your success. No downloads, no revenue. As easy as that. Steven used TikTok to market Puff Count, but instead of boring ads, he created engaging viral style videos that had focus on entertainment with a one to two second long call to action in the end to market the app. One of his best performing videos was basically just a copy of another TikTok video. It's kind of crazy that people will smoke these without knowing what's inside. So I'm gonna show you. Check out this app if you need to quit. He took a part of vape on camera and showed everyone what's inside to make people realize that vaping is dangerous. And then with a quick call to action for his quit vaping app at the end, that video alone got 8.3 million views and drove thousands of downloads. You shouldn't treat marketing like a sales pitch. Entertain people, then casually introduce your product. It does literally not get easier than that. Let's talk about money, because if your app's not making money, it's just a hobby. The way Steven sat up his monetization of the app is just genius. Puff Count is free to download. Download, but after the onboarding process, the users hit a hard paywall where they have to add their credit card for a three-day free trial to access the features. What's so smart about this is that you find out if the user that signs up for the app is actually willing to pay to use the app from the very first second. As soon as Steven introduced this paywall, his conversion rate jumped up to 20 to 25%. Do you know how crazy that is? So make the app feel free to start, but ask for a commitment, which is their credit card, once users see the value in the app. If you've got an idea for an app, then just get started taking action. You can easily have the UI of the app up within one hour. Start there and join my free Discord community and send a screenshot of the app you've made with Versal V0. I'll be waiting.